think right now um, with COVID, a lot of people are home and we're storing extra things to prepare. Um, pantries have definitely been um, a must have for a lot of our clients. Uh, so we, in every plan, I think we have a pantry designated, whether it be a walk-in or at least a decent size, you know, to store that extra. Everybody wants to have a nice walk-in closet or walk-in closets in all their rooms. Um, I mean, we make sure, obviously, most of our, if not all of our plants have that. Um, you always, you know, one thing people, I think, forget about a lot is linen closets. Um, a lot of houses, you don't see them so much anymore. Um, also, closets by doors and those aren't in a lot of plans anymore either, but we do a lot of what are called the cubby systems with coat hooks and place to slide shoes underneath and a bench to sit on to put your shoes on. All of that works as, as storage. Um, a lot of times we have the ability with our garages, especially on a three-car garage, on the third bay to pull that much deeper along the side of the house because it doesn't usually interfere with anything, which gives people a nice workshop area. Um, the other place that comes up is when we start talking about how much of a basement somebody wants to finish. And they're like, well, we want to you know, do the whole thing. I'm like, well, we can't do the whole thing. I mean, we have to have a place to put your water tank. We have to have a place to put your panel, your furnace, all that stuff. But we try to say, hey, you're going to need some place in this house you know, to store stuff. Everybody's got stuff. And uh, you know, so we typically try to leave at least half the basement unfinished um, if we can. You know, it works out easier in a, in a ranch. There's a lot bigger foundation and basement. But even at a two-story, even the house we're sitting in now has about one half of the space, you know, finished. Your master definitely has to have a walk-in closet. Um, you know, as, as a woman, I have a lot of clothes, so you have to make space for that. Um, closet space is important. You know, we, we tend to have more than what we need. Um, and everything needs to have a space. So whether it's a linen closet or maybe you put an extra cabinet on your vanity for extra storage or even utilizing your basement as a storage space as well. Um, typically all of, our, all of our garages are insulated. So um, if you're keeping the garage door closed, uh, it's never gonna, you're never gonna freeze anything. It'll always be above 33 degrees in, in, that, in that garage. Um, unless you leave the door open all day, then yeah, you could free some stuff up. But um, our garages stay pretty warm, and you, it's noticeable in the winter when it's a cold day. And, you know, if your garage has been closed, you walk into your garage, it feels like you're walking into a heated house almost without heating it. But you certainly can heat them if you want to. It's not a, it's not a huge expense, two, three thousand dollars to put a, a decent little furnace in there.